Right, as you can see, there's the major there. This is the M588 made by Ham International. Oh, actually made by Cybernet in Japan, but it was distributed by Ham International. Now I've done the MOSFET conversion now. Down there you can see all the bits. There she is, it's all in. Now I've set it up here. We've got next to it the Revex W520 RF power meter. It's a 200 watt power meter with three scales. 0 to 2, 0 to 20, 0 to 200. At the moment it is in the low scale there, in the 2 watt scale. We're on 52 on the high band which is 27 triple 5 megs. Now, we're going to see now how much power we're going to get from this MOSFET conversion and this radio. Down here we're on FM mode. Turn the volume up a bit. There we go, you can hear that. We're going to go down to the power meter here. We're going to key up. There we go. You can just see the meter there, just on the end of the green. Nicely TXing. Over here on the Revex, we are on the 2 watt scale. And you can see there on TX, full scale deflection. Hard off the end of the scale, no problem at all. We're going to go up to the middle scale which is 20 watts and we're going to have another look there we have just under 15 watts there at the moment as it is you can see that there no problem at all now we're going to try AM see what kind of swing we get on AM with the MOSFET conversion you can see the signal meter there we key up just in the green audio 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 See some movement there over to the revex we have just over 10 watts now with audio you can see the swing audio 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 now it's peaking up there nearly 20 i'm going to go up to the 200 watt range there just have a quick look audio audio you can see there around 10 watts Audio, audio, on audio it actually peaks to between 20 and 30 watts on the swing. So now what we'll do is we'll try USB, see what we can get on the sideband. Put the Revex down on the 2 watt scale there, right down on the bottom. Over to the meter on the radio. Audio, audio, one, two, one, two. You can see there, you can hear the old needle pinging on the scale. Audio. No problem. Over to the Revex, you can see there, we're on the 2 watt scale on the bottom. And uh, it's just pegging off the end of the scale. Up to the 20 watt scale. Audio. 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 1, 2. Odd. Audio. Audio. Peaking up there, 20 watts PEP, no problem. Up to the 200 watt scale. Let's have another look. Audio. 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 No problem at all. Peaking there around about 20, almost 25 watts PEP using an IRF520N International Rectifier Power MOSFET, which of course, as some don't know, is actually the same as an ERF2030 EKL part. Only difference is they only cost about a quarter of the price. So there you go, MOSFET conversion done, step by step, power test, working, no problem. Right, okay then Trevor, no problem, we've got the old uh, camera running here now. So uh, we can see what's uh, going on, just getting a bit of a shot of the meter there. So we can see the old uh, RF meter moving. So yeah, well, nice to hear you again. I know I haven't heard you for a while. I thought last time I spoke to you, you was using a Ranger there. Over. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, progressed up a little bit. Uh, we're running uh, the, the 857 just because of uh, size, really. And just because of uh, power. Uh, the, 8, uh, the 857 is just uh, a little bit more to the round of whiskies out, uh, out the back. And uh, what more do you need mobile? It saves running the Ranger and lots of wires and lots of other equipment. Um, okay for static use, but it's perhaps sometimes impossible, but uh, it's, uh, the, the range is a lovely radio with the teardrop, but uh, it's just not practical enough for me, unfortunately. Yeah, back to you.
Yeah, I know what you're saying there, mate. Yeah, I know exactly what you're saying. Yeah, nice old radios, but uh, obviously with the uh, 897 there, you've got a lot more flexibility. So uh, there we are. Yeah, well, this old Mage here belongs to a friend of mine. I've done a lot of MOSFET conversion on 11 meter radios. And uh, what I've done is taken out the old 2SC 1969 and replaced it with an IRF 520N. And uh, it's actually peaking around about 25 watts PEP output on here. And I'm only using a standard microphone. But if you get the modification right, it works great. And uh, as you can hear, I mean, this is an old Cybernet boarded radio. And I think you'll probably agree that the audio on it is uh, probably about uh, amongst the best you've heard. Over. Yeah, I know what you're saying, mate. Yeah, no. I like to dabble around with the modifications and stuff. I do a lot of repairs for a, a certain CB shop, so uh, I do like to keep me uh, eye in. As they say, I've been doing it for over 25 years, and it's always interesting to see what uh, you can do. But there we go. Okay, mate, well, there's a good distance between us. So I know that. I reckon you must be a good 20, 25 miles, possibly, as the crow flies. So uh, this radio certainly doing the job there. Just stand by a second. I'm just going to switch the camera off.